All right, somebody recently made me aware of the fact that uh, Steven Anderson's website, repentanceblacklist.com, is back up, new and improved, better than ever. <laughs> and uh, show you here, it says, openly denouncing these ravening, those ravening wolves who going the way of Cain are adding works unto salvation that by sound doctrine you may bo uh, both exhort and convince the gainsayers. Uh, yeah, okay. So we'll click here on the blacklist. Who all's on it? Certain sons of Belial. Let me just get down here quick. I don't think I don't think if there's any thing playing here. A lot of these pages you go on to and they have stuff playing and whatever else, but I'm very, very happy about this. Up here in the upper right hand corner, Brian Denlinger by special request. Thank you, Stephen. I really appreciate it. It's a nice little Christmas gift of that you gave me here this year. Quite honored to be on the list. But uh, it, I think that what we're seeing here is some serious mental illness. First of all, let me just just say this. Uh, I do think that you should have some kind of a form whereby other you know Bible believing Christian preachers and even just Bible believers in general could put themselves on the list. There, you know, I think a lot of people would appreciate that. But uh, secondly, um, I think that uh, Anderson's starting to lose his mind a little bit. Okay, um, some of the people on here, yeah, okay, I can see Fellowship Track League, I can see Chick Publications, you know, uh, some of them, um, D.L. Moody, you know, yeah, I would agree with that, probably Billy Sunday, yeah. Uh, but some of this stuff, Creflo Dollar. Leaves in a changed life after salvation. Repentance to salvation. Uh, okay. Joel Osteen. Rick Warren. Joyce Myers. Benny Hinn. And you know, I mean, there's so many. Most of the names on this list do not preach repentance to salvation. Um, I think you're getting some mental problems there, Anderson. I think he's starting to finally lose what little bit of a mind he had. But uh, I find it interesting that this uh, term blacklist, let's go here and type in blacklist definition. Click on the top one, blacklist. Now, a list of persons under suspicion, disfavor, censure, etc. His record as an anarchist put him on the government's blacklist. You mean the government would create a blacklist of people? Hmm. Interesting. A list privately exchanged among employers containing the names of persons to be barred from employment because of untrustworthiness or for holding opinions considered undesirable. A list drawn by a labor union containing the names of employees, employers to be boycotted for unfair labor practices. Um, thought this was interesting down here too, this other one. Uh, black ball right there. Black ball is a Masonic term. Okay, if you get a member of the lodge that is not um, doing right or whatever else, they will take a vote and they have white marbles and black marbles and they put a black marble in the little box. If there's one black marble, you are black balled, which is essentially the same as blacklisted. Kind of a strange thing for a uh, Baptist preacher, supposed King James Bible believing preacher, to do make a blacklist and put people that you disagree with on it. Interesting. I thought this was interesting too. This list of burn, people burned as heretics on Wikipedia. Roman Catholic countries. Down through there, you can see all these different names. You know, Thomas Bilney, good guy. William Tyndale, another great man of God. But uh, get down through here, I don't know all the names and things. I'm just kind of skimming down through. But, you know, you can look at the, the list some other time, but it uh, seem, seems kind of weird to me why a Christian would go to the time and the trouble of making a whole website dedicated to uh, listing people that he disagrees with. I mean, it's one thing to expose people, fine, but to make a list and obviously show quite a de high degree of mental illness in putting lumping me in with men like Rick Warren. Rick Warren, his prayer of salvation and his 40 days of purpose is, Jesus, I believe in you and I receive you. Rick Warren openly preaches easy believism. 
he says Muslims can be saved or anybody can be saved if you just believe in Jesus. You got mental problems there, Anderson. You're starting to fall apart, starting to lose it. But I do thank you for putting me on the list there. I do appreciate that. 